All right, here's the iFi card in its snazzy little box. And just pull the tab. Nice presentation there. And inside, on the left-hand side here, we have the iFi card inside the iFi USB card reader that comes with it. On the other side, it's just a simple instruction card. And you pull it. It's got some basic instructions. There's no software disk because the software is actually on the SD card itself. So we will pull this out. Collapse that back. And again, here we go. This is pretty basic. Uh, SD iFi card. It's actually the exact same size as any SD card, which is pretty amazing that they packed a Wi-Fi module of some sort inside of there. We haven't even plugged it in yet. And then it comes with this snazzy little USB SD card reader. Pretty standard, uh, you know, pretty typical USB dongle, but nice that they throw that in there. Doesn't hurt. And so now we're going to plug this in and see what happens. All right, so I have a little extension here. I'm going to plug the SD card reader in it. Oh, upside down there. Of course, my computer will recognize that as a typical USB mass storage SD card reader. So now we're going to pop the iFi card into the reader and see what happens. As you'd expect, the typical auto run box popped up in Windows. And the first option says iFi, free your memories using the program provided on the device. So basically it looks like there's some sort of iFi program on the SD card already. We're going to double click that. It says iFi is not installed on your computer. Yes, I'd like to install it. All right, so here's typical setup wizard. Looks like there's some iFi software. Accept, accept the agreement there. Yes, create the folder. Sure, create a desktop icon and install. That was pretty quick. And we'll just go ahead and launch the iFi manager right away there. Uh, first, it's got some firewall tuning information. Uh, this process is going to test your firewall to make sure that iFi can properly work. So we will unblock the firewall. And looks like we're good to go on that. Now it's initializing my iFi card in the corner here. And it actually opened up my Firefox. So it looks like it wants us to activate our iFi account, which we will go ahead and do. And there we go. We've created an iFi account on the iFi website. And now it actually automatically named the card Kirk's iFi card. Kind of cool because I didn't tell it that. I just put my name in. And it's asking us to select a wireless network. And this is actually, if you can see this right here, a pretty decent looking interface. It's got a drop down box, but the drop down box is obviously a custom drop down box with all the networks that are available. There's only three right here, including mine. And so I'm going to select my network. And it's asking me for my network password, which I will put in there. And we will connect the card to the network. All right, now it's asking us for some basic options, which service we want to upload to. Let's see here. You can see it's got all those different services in there. It's just pretty cool that it supports so many different services. And just for testing purposes, we'll use Picasa. All right, now it's asking me where I want to save my pictures locally, uh, which you apparently obviously have to choose a single folder, which for now, I'm just going to put one on my desktop. We'll call it Pics, just for demo purposes. We'll use this selected folder. Please remove your iFi card from the card reader and insert it into a camera. And apparently, we're ready to upload our first photo, so we'll have to uh, see how that works. So the setup actually provides a test. It tells you to uh, put your card in the camera and take a picture of yourself or whatever. And now it basically says, 
leave your camera on until the picture uploads. I think this is its way of making sure that uh, your connection is working and everything's good to go. And it kind of has a little uh, progress bar that's not showing any progress there. And uh, we'll see what happens. And this is kind of interesting. I just noticed in the bottom here it says uh, digital SLR cameras are going to have to adjust their settings. And it specifically mentions the D40, which is what I'm using. So we are going to check this out. All right, so the software is installed. We've got the iFi card. We're going to stick it in the camera here and show you exactly how this works. This is a, a Nikon D40, but the SD card is supposed to work in pretty much any camera. We will turn the camera on and just snap a little picture here. Now, since we're in Wi-Fi range, it's supposedly going to go ahead and just upload the picture right away. All right, we've taken a picture. There it is. All right. And now with the Nikon, there is some sort of a power issue that it doesn't power the SD card unless you go into this mode. So we're going to stick it in that mode. And there you go. We almost missed it. It's immediately downloading the photo to my computer within seconds, obviously, of taking it. And there we go, 100%. The photo's done. And if we go to the picture folder that I've told it to put my files to, you'll see a couple dated folders. There's today's date. And there will be a couple pictures in there. And there's the picture we just took. Pretty crazy. And uh, if you tell it to upload it to Flickr, it'll also take about an extra minute and a half to upload that to Flickr. We did test that out, and it works pretty well. I mean, it's pretty simple. It uh, The iFi card does not let you pick any size or any kind of resizing. It basically uploads the raw file with the raw file name, um, You know, which may be a downfall, but it is what it is. You can set them to private, and that way you can go into your Flickr account and then uh, you know change the names and change the security settings. Uh, you know, something else, too, is you're not going to want to use this with a fl free Flickr account because, you know, the iFi is uploading everything you put onto Flickr. So if you're using Flickr, for example, you definitely got to get a pro account. Uh, other services don't have limitations like Flickr does, so uh, probably won't matter as much. But uh, there it is, the iFi card. Pretty cool.